I'm going to show you how to use a carbon dioxide laser in like the 30, 40, 50 watt range uh, to mark stainless steel. Now, in order to do it, you, if you just put the stainless steel in and engrave as is, it will not leave any kind of marking on it. Uh, or if it does, it will just scratch off easily. Uh, but a more permanent solution is to use a marking spray, which you can buy special ones like Surmark and others that are real expensive, like $100 a bottle. But um, you can achieve a, I'll say similar, like a dark gray instead of a black uh, using dry molly lube, which ironically uh, comes out as a liquid spray, uh, but it evaporates dry. Anyway. Uh, this can is about $15, and because it's a spray can, it should probably last a while. But the real test is uh, how well does it work. Uh, so what I'll do is put like one or two coats of the dry molly lube on here, and um, just make sure it's even. We'll take it outside and we'll spray it. You can see that was a pretty heavy coat. And I mean, you can only put so much on at a time. It's already starting to evaporate. And I think it's alcohol based. And that will come important later. Once you see the gloss is gone and everything's evaporated, then just you can put a second coat on. The second coat may not be required, but um, the more compound that there is present, the easier it will be for it to. Um, get good adhesion to your steel and then also uh, the hotter the laser burn is the better adhesion you'll get well as you're waiting for it to dry make sure you read the warnings it says first of all it's extremely flammable but also fatal if swallowed uh, plus some more stuff so uh, don't mess around too lightly with it. here's the second coat it smells pretty bad and I'm even outside in open air so if you can't how you can flip it over and see compared to what it originally was it's a much darker shade of gray but it will get even darker whenever we laser it so I just drew up uh, some text in Inkscape real quick and brought that into K40 Whisperer which is the software that works on K40's uh, the Chinese laser and I am going to use Air Assist because I have that, it'll keep the fumes out a little bit, and I think it will make a cleaner cut, though I did not cut it without the air assist, and I know a lot of people may not have that upgrade. This is my air assist hookup. So the laser is uh, engaged. I have it set to 75% uh, power, and that's gonna be about 20 milliamps. And the speed, I specify in millimeters per second, uh, and that's gonna be, we're gonna drop that down to 50. The slower you cut, the better adhesion you'll get between the molly spray and the stainless steel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the raster engrave. It'll take about a minute. Just to make sure all the text is real dark, I'm going to do a second pass. The first thing you'll notice is you can see the text, but it's kind of Hard to, the contrast not real great, but it will be once we remove the extra molly spray. So the molly spray does not come off with water, but it will come off with rubbing alcohol. Yeah, it works good, but you have to act quickly because the alcohol will evaporate. So 
So while this method works great on stainless steels and some other alloys of steels, it does not work on aluminum, sadly. So now I'm gonna do some scratch. I'll see how much scratching ink takes to get the marking to come off. So just initially with my fingernail, I'm working at it and I actually don't feel anything on the surface. So it's not very easy for me to even begin to try to scratch it off just with my fingernail. So now this is just wood, very soft material at the bottom of the pyramid of hardness. So next up is a piece of acrylic. And I'm pressing pretty hard. So there is black on the acrylic, so I would assume that means that there's a little bit coming off. Uh, in fact, if I really work on this out, I think I can get it to look a little lighter. So with the acrylic, it's coming off just for good measure, I'm going to keep going up with hardness. This is aluminum. We'll see if I can slice right through it with a corner. Well, not quite. Maybe. Uh, I think it gets a little more aggressive. It's still pretty tough, though. Mild steel. It's holding up all right, even to the mild steel. A sharp tool steel chisel. I'm really marking up the stainless now. I think I can feel it coming off a little more. Then again, I may just be removing the stainless. A little bit of this 180 grit sandpaper. That does the trick. That'll clean it right off. Well, the sandpaper will get it off, but I hope you've seen this stuff is very durable, much better than vinyl, much better than like a screen printing. Well, if you wanted to engrave stainless steel, I would say that if you got one of those lasers, that CRC dry lube stuff is worth your time.